thanks to the death, entombment and resurrection of Christ on the cross, sin and death has been defeated. The entire old humanity was crucified with Christ on the cross. Sin is in the grave and is no longer an issue. God is at peace with his entire creation. He is at peace with everyone, all of humanity, all of creation. He's at peace with you right now, regardless if you've been given faith to believe or not. God is love, and he loves you with a love that can't be expressed in words. Christ died for all sin on the cross, for everyone, all of creation, and through that one complete work on the cross, all of creation has been saved and will be reconciled back to God. This secret was concealed for centuries until it was revealed to the Apostle Paul, our Apostle, the one for the nations, the one with the highest revelation of God and his Christ. The greatest truth that is being heralded among the nations is this. God is at peace with you. Now be at peace with him. Be reconciled to the one who loves you, to the one who made you. The grace of God is infinite. Come as you are and don't be afraid of him. God looks at you and sees no sin because sin itself is dead. Want to know something cool? All of humanity will one day be immortal in Christ. Just as in Adam we are all dying, everyone, every single person, all thanks to Adam's one action, we are all condemned. And in that exact same way, the same all that are dying in Adam are justified in Christ. The same all will well be vivified, made alive beyond the reach of death in Christ. All people from every nation, ethnicity, tribe, country, race and walk of life will bow before Christ and confess that he is Lord and they will want to do it. Do you know why? Because as soon as they see and understand what he did, they'll instantly fall in love with him and the truth. Hell is a pagan myth that is not found in scripture. It's a lie told by Christianity to control the masses through fear. The real God of scripture is the savior of all mankind, especially of believers, not exclusively. Know this, whoever you are, wherever you are, God loves you unconditionally, regardless of what you've done in this life. He knew everything you were going to do before you did it. All of sin has been done away with at the cross. God sees no more sin. We all died with Christ. I don't care what you've done. God loves you unconditionally. That means under no condition will his love ever fade for you. We can't earn his love, nor can we lose it. We can't earn salvation because it's already been accomplished for us by God through Jesus Christ's sacrifice on the cross. And if we can't earn salvation, that means we can't lose it. At the end of God's plan, every single person that has ever lived or ever will live will be resurrected, reconciled and granted immortality. That means every man, woman and child, white or black, throughout all of history, gay or straight, Muslim or Jew, left or right, all of humanity, period. Love, grace and peace to you all, the eyes of your heart having been enlightened.